and welcome to another Ryan Sports Views. Tonight, I am reviewing CD Universitario 2, FC Multagua 2, in the first leg of the round of 16 of the 2021 Scotiabank CONCACAF League game. was a game of two halves. Universitario dominated for the first half of the game and early in the second half. Then Motagua came back, roared back to life, and found a way to get two away goals. And most likely have won this tie. Depends on what happens in Honduras next week. But I think Universitario's best chance was if they would have won 2-0. Even 2-1. I think Motagua would have found their way back into it with an away goal. So the goals were scored as follows. In the 18th minute, Hamel Gonzalez taps it in. There was a defensive mistake from Motagua. Then Universitario picks up the ball, crosses into the box right at the feet of Gonzalez. He taps it in, and that makes it 1-0 Universitario at home. Then in the 48th minute, Lionel Triana, ball gets played in, ball is saved. It goes off of the post as well, falls to Triana. He puts it in on the rebound to make it 2-0 for Universitario on the night. Then in the 58th minute, 10 minutes later, Kevin Lopez, the star of Motagua in the last CONCACAF league, gets a ball in, heads it in, and makes it 2-1. Off across inside of the box, he heads the ball in past Guerra, who I remember very, I wouldn't say fondly, but very vividly from the Toronto FC Independiente tie, and he did stand on his head at least for the first half, but the second, uh, I'm not so sure about that. Then, in the 72nd minute, Kevin Lopez has the ball at his feet, hits a banger past Guerra to make it 2-2. Two to two. That's the way it would end at full time. Motagua has the two away goals from Panama, taking them back home to Honduras, and that's very good for them. They were dead and buried. I wouldn't say they were dead and buried, but they had... They had a little bit of a prayer time, prayer moment to try to get back into this tie, but they did, and it's probably in their hands, but it was very tight and very unlucky for them at moments, or very, yeah, it was unlucky, honestly. Defensive mistakes, it was unlucky for them, but they came back. They dig themselves out of the hole, and they probably put themselves in a better position. So with that said, full-time stats, nine shots to 12, Six shots on target to four, 52% possession to 48% possession, 286 passes to 283 passes, 90% pass accuracy to 93% pass accuracy, which that's honestly the highest amount of pass accuracy I've seen in honestly any game. Seven fouls to 15, zero yellow cards to zero, one red card to zero. Universitario were down a man, and Matagua was knocking at the door of just winning the game entirely. One offside to three and two corners to eight. There's... A story of two halves in this game. This game is a story of two halves. When it comes to this game in the first half, Universitario didn't push the pace. They scored on the break, but they defended so well in the first half. They defended so well when they played in the first half. Motagua had the ball. They dominated possession-wise, but they went forward. But in the box, Universitario clogged it up, and Guerra stood on his head from... Toronto FC versus Cafe. He stood on his head. The defenders and every player defended in that box, keeping themselves behind the ball. And they got on the break twice. And they scored on the break twice. And defensively, they were good until around the 60th minute, the 58th minute. Defensive mistake. But after that, they just capitulated defensively. I thought they were having a master class defensively against a team that are better than them tonight but they capitulated and they really shouldn't have it wasn't completely bad like they should have kept holding on and I thought they had a chance too but sadly enough they capitulated and the power of Motagua overtook them as time went on Kevin Smith not Kevin Smith Kevin Lopez did I just make a Clerks reference unknowingly? Or was that a Blue Jays player? Either way. Maybe I did both. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, Kevin Lopez. Why'd I think Kevin Smith? Maybe I was thinking Clerks. <laughs> Maybe I was thinking Clerks. With that said, 
Kevin Lopez. Sorry, Kevin Lopez. I don't know why I was thinking that. I'm so focused on actually looking at the camera instead of myself. Because looking at the screen is not looking at the camera, turns out, if you're doing it off a phone. It's not. But I'm glad I got that pointer. I'm glad I did. But whatever. I'm glad I got that pointer. So, with that said, Kevin Lopez doubles his CONCACAF League, actually equals his CONCACAF League gold total from 2020 in this game. And he's probably going to score more. But let's remember last year's CONCACAF League was one leg ties throughout the whole tournament and Matagua got knocked out in the quarterfinals and still had the preliminary round or play-in round. But they couldn't score there either. But Kevin Lopez was amazing last year and he's still just as good this year. Dominant player. Dominant player. <laughs> dominant player and wonderful play tonight. He did it all himself. I guess he's replacing Izaguirre well. I'm surprised they sold him. Jonathan Rougier was not playing tonight, which sort of shocked me. Which sort of shocked me. With that said, I think he was injured. But again, Matagua does not start their best goalkeeper. And it almost cost him again, just like it did the play-in round last year. Defending-wise, Matagua got a lot better as the second half went on. I don't think their defending was all there at times. I don't think it was. I think they took Universitario, Universitario lightly as it stood. I think they took them lightly, which is some you don't want to do when you play in Panama, considering, you know, Panamanian teams are dominant teams. With that said, though, you don't want to take Panamanian teams lightly if you're a bigger team. They will beat you. With that said... Universitario played very well. They played very well. They were a very good team tonight, and they deserved a lot more than that draw, honestly. And it's sad how it fell apart at the end for them, closer to the end for them. They, they deserved a lot more defensively and offensively. That was an amazing performance by them. Matagua woke up and had a good performance, and they were the better team most of the time. But... The resistance that Universitario put up, you wish they deserved more and got more, but they didn't, and that's the problem. Sadly enough, they could have done a lot more and done a lot better, but as things go, sadly, it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be for CD Universitario tonight. Motagua finds a way to win or not win, but draw, but honestly, with the away goals, it feels like a win, considering they're going back to Honduras, San Pedro Sula, with two away goals, and I don't think Universitario is going to look very good playing in Honduras. But that's kind of how it goes with everybody, doesn't it? Unless you're the USA. But they had a good fight. They had good resistance, and I think that's what they were hoping for. They were hoping for the win here, they probably knew Honduras would be a challenge, no matter if they won, lost, or draw tonight. But they drew, which feels more like a loss the way they played. And I kind of feel sorry for Universitario because they deserved more. Matagua was the better team, but they did not have the better performance. They dominated. They had two goals. But with that said... I don't think they deserved it. I do not think they deserved to draw tonight. They didn't deserve to win. Universitario deserved more. And they didn't get it. So with that said, I'm sort of shocked with how this game turned out. It was a great game, mind you. It was a great game between two good teams. Two good teams. Matagua almost nearly ruined my prediction for this tie for me, but they came back, so at least that's good. But they're two good teams who played a very good game, a very entertaining game when it comes to CONCACAF League, and it was a very good game to end the week on and end coverage on this week for CONCACAF League and the midweek stuff, whether it's Canadian Championship. No Leagues Cup coverage, sadly, but Club Leon won that late on. But with that said... Pretty good of a game. 
enjoyable. Universitario deserved more. Matagua played well. They got back into it, but Universitario deserved to win, if not, well, not just draw, win. So with that said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends. Check out my Patreon, 5 10 or $20 a month. Anything's appreciated. Help support the channel. Be awesome if you do. Also support by liking, sharing, commenting. Super chats. Remember, I have super chats on live streams. I've got a couple. Let's keep it going. And putting this in playlists, sharing this with your friends, all that. Tomorrow, I have a CONCACAF Champions League 2023 and League Cup 2023 explainer, new format explainer, and what I think about that format. Tomorrow night, Saturday, I have a live watch along in RSR for Colorado Rapids versus Toronto FC, and maybe, I don't know if I have my haircut on Saturday, but it's the last week of September, and I haven't had a haircut this month, and we normally go every month, so. I probably do, but if I don't somehow, I will live do a live stream for mississippi state versus lsu at 11 o'clock that's the quandary because it's so far out that i could do both games and it's at 11 in the morning and that's normally when i get my hair cut so if i don't i'll be up to do that game anyway if i do have my hair cut i ain't doing that game so you'll find out when i find out if there's a live stream that pops up you'll know i'll be able to do the game if there's not on friday night for that game you know i can't Simple as. You know I have a haircut and I can't do that game. Not even the second half, probably. With that said, that's what's coming up the next couple of days. CONCACAF Leagues Cup. CONCACAF Champions League Leagues Cup 2023. Explainer. TFC Colorado for sure live in RSR. And maybe even an extra live for Mississippi State LSU on Saturday morning. That's what we got the next two days. And then next week, we have more Canadian Championship, more CONCACAF League, more MLS. You know what it is. It's going to be good. And then October 1st, well, no, October 3rd, October 2nd, another state game, October 3rd, TFC Chicago. Then we're into another international break. It's going to be great. We got a lot of stuff coming up. So like, share, subscribe, you know what it is. I'm Ryan, I'm out. Peace. See you soon.